They've told us that um, f of x equals 2x squared plus x, alrighty? And what we're going to do is we're actually going to substitute in this expression here where we see f of x in the question, okay? So this is going to be pretty important later, and I'm just going to box it up so we don't forget to use it, okay? The first thing that we need to do, though, is figure out what f x plus h equals, okay? Now, in the earlier questions, what we would do is we would replace the x's with, say, a number, okay? A little bit harder this time because we're replacing the x's with x plus h, okay? So all we do is wherever we see an x, we replace it with x plus h. So 2x plus h squared plus x plus h, okay? Does that make sense? Any questions? No? Awesome. And we're going to box it up again to remember that we need to use it. The next step that we have is to replace these here with their corresponding um, components that they're equal to. So when we're simplifying this equation, we're going to replace fx plus h with this really big, big thing here, okay? So we're going to write 2x plus h squared plus x plus h, okay? And then we're going to minus this bit, okay? So minus 2x squared plus x. And we're going to write it all over h. Now, the reason that I included a bracket here, because we can see that there is no brackets um, in the original, is because minusing, we have to remember to minus this whole component, okay? And if we don't add brackets, we may be inclined to just write minus 2x squared, alrighty, and forget that we also need to minus that x, alright? So the next thing we want to do is we want to expand and simplify where possible. So I'm going to start with this bracket here, okay? And we know the quick way to square a bracket is square the first, double the product, square the last. So we've done this before, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, okay? Then I'm just going to write plus x plus h minus 2x squared, we're applying the minus there, and then we also know that a negative times a positive is going to give us a negative, so it's going to become a negative x all over h. Any questions? No? Awesome. Okay, so now let's expand by multiplying everything in this bracket by 2. 1, 2, 3. Okay, usually we only see 2 um, two terms inside a bracket when you're multiplying by something on the outside, but it's the exact same thing with um, when there's three terms inside a bracket. So we're just going to write 2x squared uh, plus 4xh plus 2xh, alrighty, and then plus x plus h minus 2x squared minus x all over h. Now, I know this is looking pretty yucky, but <laughs> we, um, we're going to make it a little bit simpler now by collecting our like terms, alrighty? So, like term, they have to have the exact same collection of variables. So, I've got an x squared, oh, and an x squared there, and they happen to be opposites of each other. So, a positive 2x squared minus 2x squared, we know that they're going to cross off, alrighty? Now, Next thing that we've got to do is I've got a positive x, negative x. Let's get rid of it. Let's cross those off as well. Okay. Looking at it now, nothing else has an x h in the top. We know that x, sorry, h squared and a h are not like terms. Okay. So we can't do anything with those. All right. Now let's rewrite what we have um, to make this look a little bit nicer. Now you've, um, you've copied up all of this, haven't you? Yeah, awesome. All right, so I'm going to rub off the top half so we can continue. All right, so we've got a 4xh plus 2h squared plus a h there, all over h. Now, most students might leave their answer at this point, but I'm seeing a lot of h's, so the first thing that's coming to mind is factorizing. Okay, so I'm going to factorize this top line and the only thing common in the three terms is a h. So I'm going to pull out a h and that's going to leave me with 4x plus 
2 H because there's two H's here, so we've got to keep one inside, plus one, all over H. Now that we've factorized, we have the pleasure of simplifying by crossing off those H's. Very exciting, alrighty? And then what we're left with is 4X plus 2H plus one. And I think we can both agree that that there is the initial question simplified as much as possible. Alright, any questions about any of the above?